Good afternoon. I'm sharing with you the presentation which has been just taken place in ACTA, the second biennial meeting of Euro Asia Colorectal Technology Association. New technology in colorectal surgery, June 15 to 18, 2011, Torino, Italy. The topic of presentation was perineal support for anal fissure. Anal fissure, by definition, is there at anal mucosa. Hemorrhoid is dilated submucosa vein at the same site. Symptoms include pain, bleeding, itchiness, swelling, constipation. Symptomatically, we cannot differentiate from that of hemorrhoid. Aggravated by constipation and pregnancy. That is also similar to hemorrhoid. Yes. Conservative treatment and preventive measures are limited. Limited to soul softener, regular bowel habit, seat bar. That is also very similar to that of hemorrhoid. And clinically, anaphysia are frequently diagnosed and treated as only as hemorrhoid. Are there different manifestations of the same problem? Just like this flower, same flower manifests different in different colors. Both of them are found to be associated with anal spasm by this following study. Anal spasm is it cause or effect? In case of anal fissure and hemorrhoid, pain, swelling, itchiness. Sufficient to act on the stimulus, act on the receptor to bring about the contraction which is at the internal anal sphincter. So, based on this principle of spasm, lateral internal sphincterotomy, where it involves cutting of the muscle, aim to decompress, improve circulation, and heal inner fissure. On the other hand, Hemorrhoid which share the same spasm, to spasm evidence has gone to excision, ligation, with ligate the blood vessel. This will compromise the circulation and is it routinely cause inefficient? The answer is no. So, is 6 o'clock position of anus is actually ischemic or ischemia? Study on cadaver and study by Doppler laser flow meter has proven that 6 o'clock position actually has the least number of arterial. But in actual fact, perfusion takes place at capillary, where the circulation will be the slowest. When it is slow, it will have the least detection by Doppler. So, this study doesn't imply direct Perfusion. This is where 6 o'clock position is where should have maximum capillary or the logically will have minimum arterial but it doesn't mean lack of circulation. Its chronic inefficient is actually ischemic ulcer. By the look, you can see feature of ischemic ulcer is gangrenous and bad tissue, not easily bleed. No evidence of healing, but actual feature of inner fissure is are actually they are very healthy looking, easily bleed, and there are evidence of growing ability. That sentinel pile and hypertrophic scar are actually histopet histologically they are actually healing tissue. Next, uh, yeah, spasm and ischemia theory can explain the flow. The following one, why hypotonic anus also suffer from anal fissure? Second, anterior fissure is more in women than men. Why? So ischemic theory failed to understand to to give a logical explanation on this. Next. Island advancement flat surgery. This surgery got nothing to do with the spasm theory. But it has been proven to heal very well. Next. 
So, let us consider this version of interpretation. During the application, physics is pushed down by two forces, peristalsis and straining. Guided and supported by sacrococcyx bone, beyond the tip of the bone, it is relatively unsupported, so it will stretch down and descend the pelvic floor. When it comes up from the inner, it will automatically overstretch the sacral block position. This answer why majority, maybe 90% of inner fissure located at six o'clock position. So the problem is actually the lack of support. So the solution should be support. By having a support over here, beyond the tip of the coccyx, it still has something to support. It prevents repeated overstretching. This will allow the nature to heal by itself. The, the prostate in the man will act as a protective mechanism for anterior inner fissure. So, this is one of the case report we have. This gentleman has suffering from, is suffering from inner bleeding for the past 21 years before he put on his treatment. So, he was just put on posterior perianal support. You can see he has anterior fissure, posterior fissure. Only about 1% of the inner fissure patient will have anterior and posterior together. After two weeks of application of this treatment, you can see progressively improvement selectively on the posterior aspect, not only on the fissure, also on the hemorrhoid, leaving behind the anterior fissure untreated. This is, a, is an evidence, this is not coincident. This support selectively improved the posterior segment. So, the mechanism of action is, one, it prevents the descent of periflop. Two, it enhances the reflex of defecation. Three, by having the support, it prevents the backward overstretching of inner opening, allow it to heal by itself. For anterior fissure, we recommend the patient to use the digital support. Back to the previous one, use finger to support. Next. So, support is actually is not new in medical world. Perineal support for a perineum during the second stage of delivery, if unsupported, will cause the tear which is also at 6 o'clock position. Yes. Manual support has been a diagnostic feature for chronic constipation and also peripheral disorder. Where Patient manually support to assist their defecation. Mechanical support. Dr. Luck has in 1989 has reported patient of descent perineal syndrome with constipation successfully managed with only a mechanical support from below. The same support has been used, actually the similar support has been used by Professor Jack Beko in his anti-sagging test before he subject the patient to levetoplasty. Surgical support. Alice has successfully treated chronic anterior inner fissure with anterior levetoplasty. This is a surgery where it enhances the strength or the support of the anterior part of the anus to improve the inner fissure. Professor Ahmad Shafiq has recommended levetoplasty to benefit the whole perineology. What is levetoplasty? It actually surgically enhances the support behind the anus. So, with this, we can see the picture that actually the support is not only relevant to anal fissure, but it also benefits to the rest of anorectal and peripheral disorder. What in common about all of them are actually, they are all symptomatic or manifest during defecation, especially during constipation. Constipation can be due to so many things. Constipation of whatever reason, when you have constipation, you will need to strain. Once you strain, the pelvic floor will descend. The descent of pelvic floor will contribute to what we call as obstructive defecation. Women have more descent because of vaginal delivery and aging. So that has un that answered 
logically answer why women has 30% more or uh, three times more constipation than men. Straining is not only descent peripheral, it also stretch open levator hiatus. That is a, a muscle that holds together urethra, vagina and anus together. So by straining, that will be stretched open and cumulatively the day will come, it will big enough, it will relax enough to cause pelvic organ prolapse. We also know descent will also even or expose or migrate the anal mucosa. Exposure of anal mucosa with straining accumulatively will engorge the hemorrhoidal vein to form what we call as hemorrhoid. Constipation or diarrhea with or without descent may overstretch anal opening cause a tear. And the tear is what we call as inefficient and which will cause the pain and spasm. If you look at the whole picture, the most important is not this. It's actually the descent of pelvic floor. So, descent is also not new in medical world. In 1966, Park has described that constipation and straining lead to pelvic floor descent. This has been explored by Henry to explain further descent will stretch the pudendal nerve and even can cause incontinence. Started with constipation leading to incontinence. <coughs> pelvic floor dysfunction or pelvic floor dis uh, dysfunction is found to be responsible for more than 50% of constipation in adults. Patients with pelvic floor disorder or pelvic floor dysfunction presenting to clinic usually as constipation. So, in this study, Professor Soligo, Marco Soligo has found out power dysfunction is actually closely related to posterior aspect of pelvic floor descent. So, in conclusion, we know the problem is actually the descent or lack of support behind. It manifests differently in different type of uh, uh, disorder that we have named them differently, constipation, bowel, hemorrhoid, anaphysia and so on. These are actually named differently and managed in different departments. So, I am suggesting here for better understanding because they, have, they share so much of etiological, similar etiological factor, so I am suggesting that this should be grouped under the common defecatory perineal disorder which describes the disease which is closely associated with difficult defecation and descent of perineum. So the problem is descent. So the solution, uh, the problem is lack of support. So the solution is support. For anterior fissure, we recommended manual support. The posterior fissure, we also recommend support that it's better or easier to reproduce mechanically. Surgical should kept for only uh, last option. The gold standard of anal fissure, lateral internal sphincterotomy, is very well known for the risk of con incontinence. The actual risk of lifelong incontinence actually is more when we consider the wasting of muscle due to aging. So, perineal support for anal fissure, it is not only treat, it also prevent for both hyper and hypotonic anus without any logical side effect. It also help constipation, protect pelvic floor, generically we name it as HPS. There are many reasons why we name it HPS. One of the most important reasons is because it is not only a solution for any future. In fact, it is a holistic perineal solution that we are looking for. The world of medicine are looking for. And back home in Malaysia, we call it Ho Pang Sai, which carry the meanings of easy defecation in our own mother tongue. So, thank you with this flower. Actually, this flower is the same flower having a different colors. Thank you.